from J.C. Cantrell. Uh, hey, that reminds me. Wait a second. Is this the right one? I don't want to pull out the wrong challenge coin by accident and embarrass myself. That's right. J.C. Cantrell. Is this your, is this your coin, J.C.? Boy, if it's not, I've embarrassed myself again. I believe it is. JC, I believe you're the one who sent me this coin. Thank you so much for that. Um, um, I, now I have to watch the chat carefully to make sure he's like, yep, that's my coin. Okay, whew. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> good, good, good. I, uh, I talk to a lot of people, and I do my best to sort of stick them all in my mind, but uh, sticking people and names and... I just recently had to ask, uh, I recently had to ask my wife in a very, very roundabout way when our anniversary was. So that should tell you, JC, you should feel real special that I, that I remembered that was your coin, I guess is my point. <laughs> um, <coughs> okay. JC's question is, anyone try the boxer yet? I have one in my two buy cart. I'm interested in feedback. I have a TX-16S now. JC, uh, the boxer is my daily driver. And uh, <clears throat> Saggy Balls FPV <laughs> wants to know if Stinger Storm is still using a boxer. I do believe that Stingy is uh, using it as his daily driver. There are definitely people, including myself, who find the boxer compelling enough to switch from the TX-16S. See, because the real question you're asking, I think, is not should I get the TX-16S or the boxer? But if I already own a TX-16S, is it worth switching to the Boxer? And normally, I would hem and haw and say, well, but I got to tell you, the Boxer is a fundamentally different beast than the TX-16S. And for me, at least, and Stingy, uh, I don't think Stingy switched from the TX-16, but uh, whatever. It was compelling enough to be like, oh, no, I'm switching to this. I really like the feel of the radio. I like this. And it's a little bit smaller and more compact than the TX-16S, but not not so small that it's like a gamepad style radio. Um, I, I think for the price of the Boxer, 100, and, 100 bucks for the, the base version. I think it's 140 for the Express LRS version. And then if you get the AG01 gimbals, it's another, it's like closer to, I'm not sure, but 250, 300, I would guess, just based on what the AG01s go for. Anyway, for the price of a, a base level $140 boxer, uh, I think it's worth buying. And if you don't like it, you could probably come close to recouping your money because they're freaking out of stock and everybody's like, when will they be in stock? So you could probably come pretty close to recouping your money selling it used if that's something you feel comfortable doing. But um, if you're tempted by the Boxer, I'd say it. you should think about getting one and seeing if you're like, oh, yeah, no, this is for me. Because at least some people, including me, the minute I held the Boxer, I was like, oh, my God, this is good. I like this. And then I switched. So, 